선수와 또 강경희 선수가 개건 자, 해설위원도 오늘도 있고요. 아, 어제 이 장면이죠? 자, 아, 이정국 선수와 강병희 선수가 차가 굉장히 많이 돌면서 그러네요. 자, 보세요. 이정국 선수가 스핀이 일어났어요. 먼저 일어났고, 그 다음 강경... 뒤쪽을 이제 네. 받았어요 여기 지금 닫힌 아 부분이 사실 옆구리였으면 차라리 나았을 것 네네. 같아요. 근데 통해서 한번 볼까요? 아, 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 아 이게 3 0번의 박진세 선수인데요. 오, 오, 여기 많은... 또, 또, 자, 많은 차량들이 지금 상황이었는지 볼까요? 여기에서 아, 브레이크 미스 공태환 선수인데요. 공태환 선수. 자, 아 밀려나면서 지금 좀 차량이 좀 많이 미끄러졌는데요. 자 이거는 브레이킹 할때 미스가 난 거죠. 예. 자, 이게 일본 코너에 들어갈 때 일본 코너가 우측 코너예요. 자 브레이킹에서 조금만. 라... 네. 저도. 나... 네. A stricken rally leader Calero and Pera, who had tumbled into the undergrowth in stage 11. Silence, tout un déclenchement pour les deux pilotes. Anthony Rocci oh, qui ne possède absolument oh, 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 aucun espace. No, Mais derrière no. ça, tapé en deux temps. The second half of the, of the field. Oh no, there was a clash, there was a clash. And this will be very hard crash. And maybe that's the end of the race. Corners, they make contact. Huge contact. Capelli with damage. Oh, and he takes out. Patrick Schauber, Jack Davidson has to go scurrying across the gravel, so does Thomas. Behind of anybody else, oh, there's contact on the straight and it's over. We'll have a look at it, it's not a nice sight at all. Hopefully the driver's all right as we cut away from it. Height was coming from the back with a new engine in the car. Oh my word, that is Jack Riddell. Oh. And he's collided heavily with Spencer Stevenson. That had all the hallmarks of a brake failure and... See, again, it's just... Dipped a wheel, dipped a wheel into the uh, into the loose. Uh, that's enough to spin that car. How it happened? I think it was just a wheel into the uh, into the sand, Tony. Yeah, I, I think it just happened. Uh... Michel Am. Wow. Oh and no. Dan and Goodwin just carrying just a little bit to too much speed. Really? What went wrong here? Yeah, just on top of the course crew, you have very low gear, so the throttle response and the rev. Qualifikationstraining im NATC gestoppt. Rote Flag ist draußen, so können wir da mal in aller Ruhe. Hier sehen wir noch einmal einen Einschlag. Seitentasche der Rennstrecke hinein. Wenn es dann Probleme gegeben hat, und die haben wir Probleme beim BMW mit der Stadt Nummer 71, Michael Gericke, der hatte Probleme mit dem Mini. Ja, kann man sich ein bisschen in Kontakt, Erik, er muss die jetzt in Coming into one, and looks like, oh, I can't tell if he got hit there, but, oh, man, he backed into that. Right here on board, can't do anything, and just, oh, just hits that tire wall. And those, the bacon hit the tire wall, made the tire wall come onto the track that Finch hit. So you can see Caleb Bacon behind. Look at this, it forces out the tire wall. And then Caleb and then Finch doing what he can do. Board with Victor Chapla. Robert Ricardo going around, swinging around. Oh, forcing Tim Carroll out. And then Victor Chapla, oh no, right into the side of that. As he comes in, oh, going wide. Can he hold it? Oh no, Tim Lynn. The Lynn Timidator going off. Can he stay together? Turn four. Just gets get down onto that curb. It upset the car just a tiny bit, and by the time he caught it, he was out in the gray. Nothing he could do. Hands off the wheel. Oh, again about you know how much effort goes into all the different components of this these cars. You've got your tub. You've got the body fit. Well, the body work's all gone off that car. The underwing is a very important one. Head of Pato. Oh, what and a big crash! That's Linus Lundqvist into the wall. The rookie. Finds out the hard way how the speedway bites on this Thursday practice session. Making his oh whoa 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 up and over for Nolan Siegel. Looks a lot like what happened to rookie Nolan Siegel yesterday. Loose in the middle, catches it, and then walks up the track to where the grip drops off. 
dramatically and then turns around. And imagine, guys, you're going 238 into that corner. Ugh. Look, at, I was just saying, you, you do the warm-up lap quite the outlap. That is not enough. Oh! Oh! Siegel and he hits the wall. Oh, this is going to be a big one. It's over for Nolan Siegel. He tried, but it has ended in a very... Pretty packed at the front, but watch Ian Boone. In fact, they were stacking up. That's what was causing that. See, several cars. Oh, wow. Wow, there's more than contact at the back there. Two or three cars with some damage, and Ian Oon. So, here it is. So, the contact was in the middle, and then on the way out, the left front got the right front of the 85 entry. Jeff Fain, the second of the white line racing. Oh, let's... It was. Oh, so he's tagged him behind and that's punted him into the fence. It, that's an unusual one. It's like it's Mr. Gearbutt. It's like a little ball. Oh, so he's come out of the throttle. He's come out of the throttle there. Wonder why. No idea. Run down into turn seven. Ash was superb. He got the car off the side very quickly, but unfortunately, the oil that it laid down on the racetrack caught out some others, and poor old Scotty Dornan was the unwilling recipient of a pretty large accident into... Not at the end there, but he's got a box for neutral. I'm going to say yes yeah. on that one. <laughs> Hard to lose it like that down at... Damage to Kelly's car. That's... Oh. Even, I mean, I don't think Walker really could have done anything else straight. Good. No, stuck into this one as well. McLeod comes across and he's a goal. Oh, this could be huge. Oh, no, no, no. It's exactly what could have happened to Scott Pye all those years ago. Porsche Carrera Cup Australia and has taken a spin. And that looked like he just got in the dirty air of the car ahead. And here the curve. And there you can see the car was already gone. The gravel just exaggerated what was already going to be a spin there from Frymuff and uh, helped him go. No exit, Kaz Havercourt is on the inside and contact here. I'm out, I'm out, Jaquinta! What the f*** Jaquinta is doing? Yeah, unfortunately, first lap of the race, look there, three into one, there's, there's just nowhere for anyone to go and no one's left enough space. I mean, luckily, for the car on the inside got away with it yeah. completely and the two on the outside have ended up it's found the wall too much curb the outside curb and as he turns in the rear of the car i think it was slightly wide off the line he was so, all right so far and he's just drops it in the middle of the corner off and that's a big wow. impact uh, on the right hand side and just bounce off yeah just a little bit with the right rear tire it's so aggressive, the movement of the car there for Marty. See if he's managed to keep the engine. Caused the incident, yes. Yeah, there we go. And it's a big spin then for Hadjar, who then collects Fittipaldi on the other side of the road. They all checked up in front of me. I know where to go, man. And Haugeluk on the, yeah. the left-hand side, who just has to take to the grass and then actually contact the Triton off the road there. And someone else hit Dirksen, I think, that put him airborne briefly. Um, to get off the road, it's not it's oh, Piratella. Piratella. Um, yeah, so Piratella wide. Nitsky. Now, before all the gravel went in, would he have maybe got away without a little lying there as well? Someone who didn't look so comfortable at the end of that session was Tommy Smith, sadly. Spin into Piratella. I'm here thinking he must have kept it out of the wall, otherwise we would have seen it finally in his road in car. And there comes the assistance. That's yeah. the that's the assist on that from Charlie Burtz. Got a 10 second time penalty for Smith uh, for causing a collision as well. Just come up from race. Just... Let's have a look again. Well, it... strange one. Did he? I mean, as he. That's 55. Whoops. Off into the gravel goes Julian Brichet. Off into the tyres goes Julian Brichet. He bounces out of the tyres. and Because I don't think they pitted. And how did he get there? Got into the back of the BMW and bang. You don't often find it. Ways. They've survived turn six, I think. But look how wide some of them are going. Yeah, how great is that drone shot as well? Feels like we've got an extra car. No, a big, big crash in the background there. Just so easy to get caught up. I thought we were going to sit here. So into turn eight, he's gone for the oh. switch back, and oh, it's so oh. such a big impact there as the bonnet goes. Thanks very much. I'm off to the seas, having so many punctures at super high speed there. Oh. Oh. 
What a feeling. Such a horrible feeling as a driver there where you just expect the car. McLaren, it goes around the outside of the Porsche. There's the contact at turn three and very close to getting into the back of Tom Leban was Alex Papadopoulos. He just anchored up in time. One or two more. And it was a, oh dear, big lose coming towards turn 11 and 12. As the tyre went down, off the road he went. Ludovic Badet, yeah. Yeah, he just can't get the car slowed down. He gets up the inside, hits V-Barn and Pret, so takes both of them out of the race. And I think Badet, oh, there, let's have a look. So, Bobalik just glances off Badet's car as he gets up the inside. Right, the incident between Van Thor and Ben Green is under investigation, and that was the Gold Cup leader. So our second Gold leader in strife being turned around. Matt, just get out of the way. Let's have a look and see. Oh, it was. Oh, no, we're still at the end of all that. Wow. Catch at the beginning of it. I don't know what that was on. Before Porsche that comes out of turn 16 and goes wide, and bang. Out of downforce that you would see with a GT3, and it goes for a spin and keeps it out of the Armco. Thank goodness there. Turn number one, side by side, Augustini has it, but he goes wide. Oh, and Ellis gets tagged by Mars. Everyone scrambles. Adelson goes around too. I don't think so either. Let's see what happened. Woo. Really deep up into the break zone there. He was fighting for position with. And a moment ago, Tim Savage had an interesting moment. Yeah, just rolled there into turn 20 with a bit too much speed. So you got to track. Take a look at Schwest here as he comes through that really high speed corner and looks to the inside. I think he's just gauging that move up ahead and had his hands turned before he really had all of the. At Circuit of the Americas, up the hill they come. Deskalos out of control, goes through and has to turn that car around. Boy, this has him on the back foot. This is what has apparently eliminated Farhan Siddiqui. I think there was contact before that, maybe of the screen, caught a curb, and wow, just shot across the track. That is not a light impact with the tire barriers. Break zone, Kurtz continues to lead. Further back, we see Ooh. contact. at Savage into the back of Roberts, and that's a heavy, heavy impact into the Armco barrier. Two cars eliminated. The yellow will... And this was Tom Dyer and Chris Wilson. They came close together, but I'm not sure there was any contact. Boy, that 17 car has been in the wars today. Sam Owen driving in the Pro-Am class, but this is a look at the contact one more time. Almost a save, it was so close, but Clay couldn't hang on and that will cost them dearly. Arthur is, and just a, it's just from a long ways back, didn't have the overlap there, DJ, and a big mistake there for the 44, and uh, certainly it's gonna hurt the 34 as well. Here, DJ, let's see if we can find out what's going on. Down into turn, ooh. The 57 got turned, Adam Brickley. Ooh, the 14 got tagged at the end, trying to go around the two Copeland Motorsports cars that were colliding. Ultant of that, unfortunately. And then there was more. That was Coase and the Hattori Motorsport 75 coming together a bit later. That's the uphill right-hander at turn eight. So a couple days. O Guto Rota vai pra grama também. Vai levar a placa do BRB. Vai levar mais uma. Pode pedir música agora. E vai de lado e vai pro muro. Vai, vai, continuar. Já foi pro muro e eu tô escutando. Fique de olho no replay. É isso aí. Pôs o pezinho na grama. Bye, bye. Foi, 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 foi ele. Foi, foi, foi ele. O Vel. Pezinho Mujati usa o push. Já tem toque com o Gaetano e é fim de prova pra eles. Batida forte, Gaetano, Arthur Leite e Zezinho Mujati. Vem pra curva zero, vem pra curva da vitória, vem pra subir a essa de prova, o Eric Schott escapou, pega a grama molhada e vai pra barreira. Até tem, trazer o carro de volta pro asfalto é mais difícil, e olha o Frigoto, tem toque com o Matias de Vale. E aí ele vem aqui pra barreira de pneus. Fim de corrida. Oh, e de costado, se termina complicando, Rey o passo do Uruguayo, saiu de costado na saída de Ascari. Mira como quedó el auto de Reilly. Eh. Con Luque, con eh, Cafaro. Y hoy, ahora Gripo, Gripo, Gripo. Con Escordia. Gripo. Con... Desde otro ángulo. Claro, el frenar. Ah, uh, ah. este es Guevara. Se era, pegó Guevara. Era el que faltaba. Hasta donde le permite doblar. Por el lado externo, González, que tiene la cuerda. Van a la curva número uno. El Chivo se tocaron afuera. ¡Oh!
Haas. Afuera los dos que estaban peleando por la punta de la carrera. Ahora es el back. Tres autos a la par. Berneche por afuera. ¡Uy, tocaron! ¡Otra vez! ¡Otra vez! ¡Afuera! 11 carrera T. Espetáculo, viu? Ya, ah, que prospección de la izquierda. No hay más Oh, mira cómo se vienen apretando un poquito Ahí van doblando todos los protagonistas En el primer paso Andreoli era uno de ellos Ahí está complicado Apunto también Tadeo eh. Sí señor, ahí está Milan de Castro Colors making progress The uh, massively successful uh, Milan Whoops, big drama in the background That takes a couple of cars out of the race One in the wall And there, big big slide And a big big wobble And a similar accident in fact To that that eliminated Uh, Gear Mayo on the first lap, so it was 73 of Sandro Coutini who got it all wrong, and most of it. So there is Gerardo, look, totally sideways, and then the car couldn't be saved. The back flicks round, points him in the other direction. There's lots of arm twirling going on. He was lucky not to get collected by Damiano Puccetti as he now comes across the road and. Yeah, Nicolas Milan was just avoided, but a massive dent in the side of uh, David Puget's car. Nicolas Milan just about gets around in our 40. He's the most thick. The Belgian leads the race. Absolutely beautiful. The Sunshine tries to buy it there. Fernandez makes contact with Davidovsky. Secondary contact as well. In fact, he's actually like alarming, not Davidovsky. Coming out, they approached him very quickly. You see, there were three wide at the time. BD was down at the bottom, Johnson in the middle, and then. But you got the fastest lap. But, uh, whoa, when conditions were pretty. The front, a quick foot, and that's given an opportunity to Kai Wolf to cut inside him, and they both go down. The Wolf. E o Motors ficando um dos Kawakamis. Ai, 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 que brito. Que brito tomando um high side monstruoso. Tá em pé o piloto. Tá tudo. Wide there. Yes, yeah, a little bit wide. It actually let go. The suspension let go. Gripped again, and then looked like he'd saved it at one point. But then... now up into ninth place once again. As we see. Oh, contact there between Sarobiak and Julian Carrera at the final corner. Weedy away from the line, and then was involved in an instant at the first corner as well, which also uh, nearly took Callum Beach out of the running. Thankfully for Craig, he was up and took to hit the front, and this was Ted Wilkinson hitting the back of Lewis Smart into the first corner, down and out in the gravel. It was a bit of drama further back, unfortunately, as Clayton Grover got caught up in a nasty accident. In a red gate, it'll still be... Got to be the front, it'll appear, there he is. Oh. Yeah, that is the front. Yeah, that's... Quite, and and that's, that's quite a mess of the... If you've saved any tyre, it's now, you're going to... Oh, big, big oh. high side for Christian Eden! Oh. That's a massive crash! That is a huge one. Oh. Grid, you know, if, if Christian lays on the floor, it's because he's hurt. You know, he's not the sort of guy you'd have to cut an arm off the guy to uh, to get him to not ride his motorbike. But, uh, you yeah, know, that's a third. To Kawasaki. So let's see what happened to Billy McConnell then. Look on your left, yeah. Front end. Race lead. Yeah, and that's the rain. You just stepped out so fast. There was nothing he could do to to save it. Once it comes around that quick, the track there. On the last lap, and oh, there's the crash. Yeah. Just out on the grass, oh. trying to get it turned. Yep. Just using a little too much racetrack, and it is indeed William. On this lap, and both got by Corey. He's got a big crash for Corey on the exit of the back straight right hander. He slides off to the. Here comes Peroni. Oh my goodness, and they all go to bed. Oh, oh no! Peroni tied. Peroni tied. Cano. Cano is over. The Rosenthal coming in like a train. A collision between yeah, the he two lost. And he lost. Nasty flip up of the bike, and Yambi is hopefully he's taken away.